Hi guys, Sai is here and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix safety net related all issues. For example, if you are using a custom ROM or port ROM or unofficial custom ROM, whatever and your safety net is not going to pass, your basic integrity going to fail or your CTS profile going to fail. So in this video I will cover this all problems and also cover if your device safety net is passed but your device integrity is not going to pass. For that means your device is not certified. So how to fix that device certified issue? So watch the video till the end. And if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Also join our telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. Okay, first of all discuss about the problems after that I will tell you how to fix this issues. For example, this is my Asus phone and I am using MIUI port ROM on this device and basic integrity and CTS profile both are failed. And this is my another device which is POCO F1 and I am using a very old ROM uh, but uh, basic integrity is passed but CTS profile is not going to pass. So you also facing this type issues. Okay. No matter you are using official ROM, unofficial ROM or port ROM. Okay. So for fixing this type of issues, you need to flash one module. You need to download one module, which is modded version of safety net fix module. Simply download this module. I will provide the link on description of this module. Download it and flash through Magiscore kernel SU. After flashing, after first boot complete, as we can see, my both devices safety net is passed. Okay. No matter I'm using port ROM, custom ROM, unofficial ROM. Okay. Both devices safety net going to passed. Okay. But here it is one catch. What is that? I will tell you. But before going on that, uh, I will show you what modules I flashed. So I am using kernel SU on my both devices. Okay. So I need to flash one extra module, which is Zygisk. If you are using Magisk, then no need to flash Zygisk. You need to enable Zygisk toggle and you need to simply flash this universal safety net fix modded version module. That's it. Then click on reboot and your device going to pass all safety net problems. Okay. As we can see, all safety net problems are fixed with the help of this two module. Now, what about device integrity? It is going to pass or failed. Let's check. So I'm going to open this uh, device integrity check app. And when I check it and as we can see device integrity is going to fail. So how to fix it? I will explain end of this video. Let's move on third problem up. Okay. So here it is. I'm going to face this third problem on my third device. Okay. So here it is. Uh, safety net is going to pass. CTS profile is pass. Basic integrity is pass. No issue related with safety net. But when I open this device integrity APK and when I check it, then as we can see device integrity is going to failed. Okay. And this is my, uh, I mean, I'm using a latest version of custom ROM on this device and safety net is passed successfully, but device integrity is not going to pass. If device integrity is not going to pass, that means the play store is, I mean, the device is not certified on play store. When you open it and when you see the device is not certified, it shows. Okay. So how to fix it? Let's talk about this. So you need to download one module. So let's Google it. I will provide the link of this module and description so you can get it easily. So here it is the play integrity fix module. So you need to download the latest version only. Okay. So the module is um, up to date. You need to up to date with this module because if you flash old module, it is not going to work. So always download latest version of this fix in um, say play integrity fix module, then you will good to go. Okay. So here it is presently 14.5 is latest module. When I'm recording this video, when I'm fixing my problem, this is the latest version. Okay, so 14.5 and if a latest version is come, then you need to go for that version. Okay, so download it and after that we need to install through Magisk or kernel SU. But one important point I'm again going to repeat, you need to enable Zygisk. Okay, if you are a Magisk user, then you need to enable toggle of Zygisk and if you are kernel SU user, then you need to flash Zygisk, kernel, uh, Zygisk module. Okay. So I already flashed Zygisk module. So I'm not going to repeat it again. And just I re uh, installing this play integrity fix module after installing, just click on reboot system. Okay. Okay. My device is started successfully. Let's open the lock and uh, see what happened. Okay. So here it is play integrity fix module successfully installed. Okay. And Zygisk I already installed. 
ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चेक द सेफ्टी नेट सो प्रीवियसली माई सेफ्टी नेट इज पास्ट एंड नाउ इज ऑल्सो सेफ्टी नेट इज पास नो इश्यू विद सेफ्टी नेट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट प्लेन डिग्रिटी इफ आई चेक प्लेन डिग्रिटी ओके एज वी कैन सी प्लेन डिग्रिटी इज नाउ गोइंग टू पास्ट सो दिस मॉड्यूल फिक्स द प्लेन डिग्रिटी ओके सो अवर प्रॉब्लम इज फिक्सड लेट्स सी द प्रॉब्लम सॉरी लेट्स सी द प्ले स्टोर सो हिर इट इज डिवाइस इज सर्टिफाइड ओके सो ऑल दिस प्रॉब्लम्स आर फिक्सड बट लेट्स मूव ऑन अवर प्रीवियस टॉपिक वेयर वी फिक्सड टू फोन्स सो हिर इट इज दैट टू फोन्स राइट ना इन दिस टू फोन्स वी फ्लैश सेफ्टी नेट फिक्स विच इज मॉडेड वर्जन एंड सेफ्टी नेट इज पास बट प्लेन डिग्रिटी इज नॉट गोइंग टू पास सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू इफ यू फ्लैश अगेन प्लेन डिग्रिटी मॉड्यूल ऑन दिस i mean on this device and on this module we already mo flashed one module which is safety net fix modded version and that module comes with plain integrity fix also but sometimes some situations that this module is not working properly that means it's passing the safety net but not passing plain integrity so what we need to do so the last solution is you need to flash plain integrity fix module you know uh, don't flash that safety net fix module but uh, the problem is sometimes this plain integrity fix module working fine but sometimes not working on this type of devices this type of devices means you are using port rom or unofficial rom or official rom where the safety net is not passed okay na so note this point in some situations it is not going to work but in most of the situation is going to work but this one module fix your safety net as well as fix your um, play integrity which module play integrity fix module okay so note this point this play integrity fix module in some situation not going to work in some situation going to work so this is the problem with this module that's why i uh, that's why i first of all i tell, uh, told you uh, safety net fix module which fix your safety net okay and if you are indian users then don't worry about the plain integrity because uh, your uh, upi apps is working fine with without plain integrity fix okay na if your safety net is fixed then you are good to go to use upi apps but if you are international user then you are um, nfc payments google wallet payments not working because that check plain integrity so you need to enable plain integrity fix you need to pass the plain integrity after that you are good to go okay so this is the video if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care